Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International with Samar Ajawi. The Shura Council Chairman, Mr. Ali bin Saleh al-Saleh, stressed the importance of investing in artificial intelligence, modern technologies and applications to achieve the goals of sustainable development. This came during his opening speech at the third international conference of DATA, Future of Everything, organized by the International Group of Artificial Intelligence in partnership with the Nasser Vocational Training Center. أن الرؤى الملكية النيرة لحضر الصاح والجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة عاهل البلاد المعظم حفظه الله ورعاه حول أهمية الاستثمار في اقتصاد المعرفة والتقنيات الحديثة وضرورة العمل على اتخاذ الخطوات اللازمة لدراسة الذكاء الاصطناعي وتطبيقاته في مختلف المجالات والحقول باعتباره المحرك الرئيسي لتحقيق أهداف التنمية المستدامة جعلت المملكة في مصاف الدول التي خطت خطوات متسارعة في مواكبة هذا التوجه العالمي فقد عملت المملكة على إدماج توظيف تقنيات الذكاء الاصطناعي وتطبيقاته في مختلف الأنشطة والمجالات وذلك بفضل الجهود الرفيعة والمتواصلة التي يبدلها ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظه الله في تطوير واقع التوظيف المناسب لتقنية الذكاء الاصطناعي بما يحقق الرؤى والاستراتيجيات والبرامج الوطنية وبما يخدم رؤية البحرين الاقتصادية عشرين ثلاثين Under the auspices of the Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Hope Fund, Ayman bin Tawfiq al muayyad Dallas Presso, affiliated to the Al Amal Investment Projects portfolio and manufacturer of local coffee and tea capsules, inaugurated its new manufacturing facility. The facility comes to be the new launch headquarters for the Bahraini brand, from the Kingdom of Bahrain to the world. The launch of the new facility comes within the framework of the company's efforts to meet the continuous local and regional demand as the facility is equipped to support the tenfold increase in the company's production capacity to produce seven types of tea capsules and 13 coffee capsules with a focus on Arabic coffee. The Social Development Minister Osama bin Ahmed Khalaf al Asfur paid tribute to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa, hailing the royal vision which turned Bahrain into a beacon of tolerance, coexistence, and peace. The minister made the statement as he received the honorary president of the BIBS Bahrain, Dr. Parval Vaidya, among himself and other board members. He reiterated Bahrain's commitment to embrace these values and launching initiatives aimed at consolidating the culture of pluralism and promoting peace and rapprochement between cultures. Vaidya praised the ministry's efforts to support community institutions aimed to promote religious tolerance and peaceful coexistence. The president of Kyrgyz Tan Republic, Sadr Jabarov, received the credentials of Dr. Mohammed Hassan Mohammed Adnan Sheikho as Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Kyrgyz Republic based in Beijing. Ambassador Sheikho conveyed to the President the greetings of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and their wishes for continued health and wellness and for his country and its friendly people.
further development and prosperity. He affirmed the keenness of the Kingdom of Bahrain to develop bilateral relations for all that is good and development for the two friendly countries and peoples. For his part, President Sadr Japarov asked the Ambassador to convey greetings and best wishes to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, wishing the Ambassador every success in his diplomatic duties. The Chief Executive Officer of the Labor Market Regulatory Authority and Chairperson of the National Committee for Combating Trafficking in Persons, Nof Abdurrahman Jamshir, has stressed the need of reviewing and continually developing all regulatory procedures and decisions in line with the changes taking place in the work environment in a way that contributes to strengthening the Kingdom's position in providing suitable working conditions for investors, businessmen and workers alike. The statement came during the second meeting of the National Committee for Combating Trafficking in Persons, which dealt with the aspects of coordination and cooperation between the government agencies concerned with the anti-trafficking system in persons and areas of cooperation with international organizations in the fields of training and development, in addition to strengthening the Kingdom's efforts to participate with the international community to address cross-border crime by exchanging expertise and experiences with the countries wishing to develop their procedures. The meeting also discussed recommendations contained in the U.S. Department of State's report on the classification of countries in the field of combating trafficking in person and to consider the recommendations that are compatible with the specificity of the work environment in the Kingdom of Bahrain to implement them and develop an action plan for their implementation. The meeting also stressed the importance of the continuity of work and the enforcement of the terms of reference of the committee stipulated in Article 8 of Law 1 for the year 20 2008 on combating trafficking in person and strengthening the Kingdom's position in this field regionally and internationally. The Kingdom of Bahrain is keen to continue its unremitting efforts to strengthen the comprehensive work system concerned with human rights and the participation of various concerned authorities in this regard. Bahrain maintained its leadership in the consecration of human rights at the regional and international levels. The successive achievements of the Kingdom of Bahrain in the field of human rights, which come as an embodiment of the royal vision of His Majesty the King and with the directives and support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, in promoting human rights, respecting freedoms, ensuring quality, and providing means of fairness and justice. The Kingdom has proven its leadership in this aspect and has achieved advanced ranks at the regional and international levels in many indicators, including Bahrain's ranking for the sixth year in a row. In the first category of the U.S. State Department's report on the classification of countries in the field of combating trafficking in persons within a framework of comprehensive strategy based on the foundations of respecting human beings and guaranteeing their rights under the state of institutions and the law, many parties play important roles in implementing the national strategy to combating trafficking in persons and achieving goals in reducing its manifestations in all fields. Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority announced that transit passengers traveling through Bahrain International Airport are able to experience the Kingdom's rich culture and heritage firsthand while waiting for their connecting flights. The authority said that from the 5th of July onwards, passengers with layover ranging from 5 to 24 hours can avail a free city tour, taking in Bahrain's landmarks and historical spots. The three-hour tours are offered twice daily from, sev from 9 a.m. to 12 and 7 to 10. Advanced booking is required. Bahrain International Circuit, the home of motorsport in the Middle East, will host the 2024 season opener in celebration of the 20th anniversary of the Gulf Air Formula One Bahrain Grand Prix. The FIA announced that the World Motorsport Council has approved the 2024 Formula One calendar, which includes the Bahrain Grand Prix as the season opener. The race will take place from the 29th of February to the 2nd of March next year and will be the sixth time that Bahrain International Circuit has had the honor of being the opening race of the season. Further announcements on the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2023 including tickets will be announced shortly.
Bahrain is gearing up for the first ever almond festival, which will open on Saturday at Bahrain Farmers Market in the Bodaya Botanical Garden. The festival will open for visitors from 4 to 9 in the evening. The Assistant Under Secretary for Agriculture Affairs at the Ministry of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture, Mohammed Al Arabi, in a statement, said that all preparations have been made for the 2023 edition of the festival to be launched. The Ministry is holding the event in partnership with the National Initiative for Agricultural Development and the Bahrain Agricultural Cooperative Society unveiled plans to organize the event annually. The two-week festival will witness the participation of 15 farmers, three projects, as well as productive families and four restaurants serving almond products. He indicated the ministry will distribute a total of 1,000 almond seedlings on the sideline of the festival, which will display also almond-based products. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has approved Lee Kemby for the treatment of Alzheimer's disease. Lee Kemby is the second of a new category of medications approved for Alzheimer's disease that target the fundamental pathophysiology of the disease. These medications represent an important advancement in the ongoing fight to effectively treat Alzheimer's disease.